Hi, my name is Michelle Wald and I'm a physical therapist and I'm a social tango dancer. Um, I'm not a tango teacher, but I have taught movement for over 30 years. So I have designed some exercises to help you improve your flexibility, especially in this area, the hips and the spine so that you are successful in improving your alignment and posture for tango because tango has a slightly different um, need. And for me, I struggled with um, extending my leg behind me because I had a really tight midline. So my midline goes from your midline of your head, your neck, chest, all the way through your pelvis, down one leg when you're on that leg, and down the other leg when you're on that one. And I was always struggling with that. And so I started doing some uh, stretches that really helped improve my ability to extend my leg, which especially as a follower, you, you wanna have that um, uh, available to you for a nice, elegant uh, dance. So I would like to talk to you a little bit about posture. So. The posture that I'm talking about is, I, I, I think about it a little differently. Um, it's not from the top down, pull your shoulders back, all that, suck it in, tuck it in. It's about stacking all your parts over your feet. So if you've got the accuracy and are able to stack your body over your feet accurately, you will have more uh, discernment in your steps and following the lead. Uh, it will limit the problem of falling back when you step back. Uh, it'll be able, you'll be able to more accurately stay over one foot or the other as you move and transfer the weight nice and smooth. So I'm gonna show you the foundational movements and then we'll take it into some other movements and stretches. So the first one, I want you to uh, think about is just sense what your alignment is. If you have a mirror, take a look, especially at the side. Are you more rounded in the shoulders? Are you more extended? Um, sometimes people have a forward pelvis and some people are just more arched there. So you wanna kinda keep the lower half loose so that your progress is uh, is easier to get. So we're gonna start with Aston arcing. So put your hands on your hips and bring your hips towards your heels. And then you can hinge and round your spine. Exhale. <sighs> Come forward on the balls of your feet, push off the floor, open your hands, and then settle so your front and your back are more symmetrical. Again, Weight on your heels, hinge and round. See if you can feel the back of your neck let go, let your arms let go. Push off your feet, come forward and settle. Find the middle of your feet. So that's an introduction to arcing. I'd like to take this a little further by doing it in a split stance. So you're gonna weight transfer onto one side Push into the floor to take your foot back, kind of in a medium stance. And then keep your weight over that front foot. So you're gonna hinge and round, push off and lengthen, and settle, find the middle of your foot. Bring your hips back over your heels and round. Push off, come forward and up, and then settle. One more time, hinge and round, come forward and up, and stretch long as you can, and settle. I'm gonna show you the side view. So step back, hinge and round, push off, lengthen forward and up, and settle. Find that ease that the front and the back are more similar. You can, when you're in the settle part, you can relax that back leg. Hinge and bend. 
waking up. Feel the length settle. Hinge and bend. Lengthen and settle. I'd like to, the other important part is stretching the quads in the front of the hip. So you're gonna, if you can, grab the back foot. If you can't do this, you might need a strap, yoga belt or something. And the first thing you're gonna do is push into the floor for the length. Engage your abs. Then you're gonna push that knee back behind you. And then you can pull your heel towards your bottom. If you're arching your back, it's not as a good, it's not a good enough stretch for the hip flexor. So really try to engage your abs and then pull your foot up. And then you can reach back, okay? And let it go. So it's a good stretch for your quads and your hip flexors. So do the other side, grab hold, extend, and then bend. Push your knee back, then bend. Make sure your abs are engaged, lengthen up. Okay, and relax, shake it out. We're gonna take it all the way up. So we're gonna do a bigger lunge. So again, you're gonna push into the floor to extend. I'm gonna stay over the front foot. And then you can lower and raise the heel. And we're gonna go into a warrior pose. Lengthen through the body. Lengthen through the body. Lengthen through the body, waver. Let go, lengthen through the body, waver. Come back. Other foot, hinge, okay. So you don't wanna like bend too far forward here. You wanna mostly Set, keep your upper body over this foot as you push into the floor to get that foot back. And then you can length, lengthen and lower. Take one arm up, the other arm up. Stretch long. Stretch long and forward and up. Waver a little bit. And that's what I have for this video. Thank you for listening. Uh, look for this on YouTube or my website, michellewall.com. Talk to you soon for video number three.